and welcome to Barrett's three month newborn cloth diapering update. Today he's exactly three months old and this may be our last newborn cloth diapering update video, just FYI. I do plan on doing like a newborn cloth diaper favorites video or maybe just to sit down like talk about every single diaper, like just a little tidbit on every single one that we used. I don't know yet. There will probably be more newborn cloth diapering videos, but this is gonna be our last like monthly update or whatever. So anyway, I want to tell you about this little stack of diapers here. These are all the things that are still fitting Barrett, which is exciting that some stuff has lasted through the three month mark. I think the three month mark is a very good amount of time to get use out of diapers, newborn diapers, because they grow out so quickly of so many different diapers. If a diaper can make it to the three month mark, it's definitely automatically like on my favorites list pretty much. <laughs> so let's talk about some things that he's still fitting in, other, you know, things that he's doing right now. He's mostly in one size stuff. Like as you can see, he only has like a handful of diapers that are still fitting him from the newborn collection. He's mostly in one size stuff. I've been really, really liking the fit of a lot of middle rise settings actually like he's starting to like already snap out the rise setting a little bit on some one size stuff so anyway let's hop in and i do want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by green maternity you can always check out green-maternity.com there's always a link down below in my description she did send me some baby boo covers to try out on barrett and i also did purchase myself um some assembly stuff from her site and she has kawaii baby oh so cozy a bunch of stuff on there if you guys are interested so let me list off our little stack of stuff that is still fitting. So we have some covers on this end. Let's start with the covers. So this is a, um, this is, I always want to call it blueberry because it's a blueberry print, but it's the petite crown newborn keeper cover and it's still fitting just barely. A lot of these are like just barely still fitting on Barrett. So this has been a favorite the entire time. I have totally loved using this on Barrett. I don't know, It's it's been really awesome. It's roomy enough to fit over like fitteds and stuff, but still, you know, of course, small enough for a newborn. It was kind of close to baby's belly button in those early days, but I still used it, still got plenty of use out of it. If a diaper can go all the way from like the new newborn days to fit underneath the umbilical stump and last until three months old, it's awesome. So definitely a favorite, this little um, petite crown newborn cover. Another favorite has been the Cloth Ease Wrap size one. They do have a size zero, which is smaller than this, but they recommend you use the size one cover with the size newborn fitteds, which is what we did a lot in the newborn days. So yeah, this little guy is still working. I love these. They are so soft and flexible and just comfy feeling. They're awesome. I have um, a size three, I believe, as well, which I used on my middle baby, Aaron, my last baby. But yeah, overall, um, you guys know how I feel about these. They are awesome, but I wish they came in more than just white. Next is the Baby Boo cover. I like this guy. It is very similar to the Buttons newborn cover, but let me show you a couple of differences here. So on the inside, you can see Baby Boo has the little tummy flap tummy panel on that side whereas buttons is smooth throughout it doesn't have any kind of panels they both have this the double leg gussets they both have the um vertical snaps up and down snaps on the waist they're just like a very similar like size and everything they're like super super similar but honestly i prefer the baby boo because the baby boo has that little panel in the front which i find very helpful for tucking inserts into on a newborn so they don't wick onto baby's clothing and then also the other thing that i love is the fact that it has a crossover snap on the waist you guys know that i love that not because i have tiny babies who need a crossover snap but because it makes it easy to take a dirty diaper roll it up and snap it shut when you are out of the house and need to get that dirty diaper back home. It's just nice to have it all rolled up like that. You can't really do that as easily when you don't have the crossover snap. So yeah, both of these he's still fitting into, but like I said, they're similar little sizing and everything, but I actually prefer the Baby Boo. They're both double layer PUL. That's another thing that is uh, similar about them. I do wanna do maybe a full video about these guys, or at least when I do my review of the um, Baby Boo, I will compare it a little bit more and show you the exact sizing and all of that stuff. So yeah, the Baby Boo wins out over the buttons. And that's another funny thing is the buttons cover I really, really loved with my second baby, Aaron, my last baby that I cloth diapered as a newborn. And 
he was a bigger baby. He was, you know, eight pounds, five ounces at birth, whereas Barrett was only seven pounds, seven ounces at birth. And I felt like the buttons cover didn't start fitting Barrett really well until he was about like eight and a half pounds. So that's like, you know, where Aaron was when he was first born. So it makes sense why I liked the buttons fit on Aaron so much more. I love the buttons fit on Aaron. I don't know what it was. I preferred this time around with baby um, Barrett, I prefer a single layer PUL because it's just more movable and easier. Um, the Both the petite crown and the clothies one are single layered. They just feel, you know, a little more gentle on such a tiny baby body. Whereas both the baby boo and the buttons are a little bit thicker, a little bit bulkier because they have the double layer in there. Okay, anyway, let's talk about, this is one of the size small workhorse fitted. It's the only one that I owned. I used the newborn size with Barrett until he outgrew them and then I started using the small size and it just barely fits him right now and he's finally just now coming into the size medium workhorses. I love these workhorses. I'm so glad that I got the newborn size this time around. Um, I love the mediums and the larges for when kiddo gets bigger and I love using those for like nighttime diapers along with a hemp insert like a little bit of a booster. I love workhorse fitteds but I just wanted to let you know um, if you are trying like if you bought the newborn and the small and the mediums if like so when when Barrett stopped fitting in the newborn ones then we went to the small and he really only fit in the small for just a few weeks before he fit into the medium so you could kind of just skip the small if you have the newborn and you have the mediums you can kind of just skip the small because baby's growing so fast at this age he really only wore the small for a very short amount of time and he's pretty much outgrown it right now and lastly, I want to talk a little bit about the assembly system. I will have a full assembly review on a bunch of different assembly items, just in case you guys are interested. Um, it won't be up by the time you guys see this video, but hopefully in the next month or so, I'll have the full assembly review up for you guys. But I just want to let you know he's still fitting in them. They were a little bit big on him in the very early newborn days, like the first couple of weeks. They were a little bit big, but he's, he's still barely fitting into them right now. Actually, the cover, I think he has a little bit, quite a bit to grow into it, but the um, the fitted itself, he's starting to outgrow a little bit. Um, uh, that's pretty much where I will leave it. I'll leave my full thoughts and opinions on the assembly line for you guys um, in, the, in that full video that's all about assembly stuff. So I don't want to give too much away, but just FYI, I much prefer the cover to the fitted. I just like, you know, like workhorses from clothies from Green Mountain Diapers. These are the best. These are awesome little fitteds and they're much cheaper than the assembly fitteds, honestly. So just FYI, we'll talk about that a little bit more in the future. So right now, Barrett is three months old exactly and he was 15 and a half pounds according to our bathroom scale. I don't have like an exact measurement on him from the pediatrician or anything. We haven't, we don't have an appointment until next month. So he's about 15 and a half ish pounds and he's still just barely fitting into all of these diapers here. And like I said, three months is a very good amount of time to be able to use newborn diapers if you ask me. So a lot of these items here are definitely some of my very favorites that we've been using in the newborn days, but he's surely, you know, very surely going to be growing out of these in the next probably just week or two, honestly. And I do want to mention I've been loving stretchy flats, stretchy pre-flats. Those have been my go-to lately. I've been loving using those and snapping them on to Barrett. I actually just got some stretchy flats from Jacqueline at Jay's Nest. She has a Facebook group called Colors of Callisto Moon. Callisto? Callisto? I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> but I ordered a flat from her and then she sent me an extra one, which thank goodness. Thank you, Jacqueline. She's just the nicest, sweetest person. I'm sure all of you guys are subscribed to her as well, so you you know what I mean. But yeah, I've been loving stretchy flats on Barrett. They're just super awesome and stretchy pre-flats. And if you watch any of my Day in the Life of a Cloth Diapering Mom videos, hopefully here soon I'm going to have a full day of pre-flats up for you guys so we can talk all about pre-flats for a full day. Um, I've been really, really digging those. So, 
stretchy stuff has been my go-to this time around. It's so weird how your little preferences change depending on the baby and depending on, you know, how long you've been using cloth diapers and what you just like right now in this particular age of the cloth diaper world, you know? I loved me some flats and covers with my two older boys, but I've actually been really into pockets this time too, so it's just super weird. I've been trying a lot of different, like a big variety of different kinds of cloth diapers a lot more this time with Barrett than I did with my older two boys and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun trying new things and finding new things that you're really, really into and pre-flats and stretchy flats are definitely something that I'm super into right now. So yeah, I'll have a stretchy flats day in the life video coming as well, just in case you guys are wondering. All right, so I think that's about it for today's little update. Like I said, we will do a full like newborn favorites video. I'll have full reviews on all of these items if I haven't already put them up yet. New stuff that I've been trying, you know, I'll have a full assembly review. I'll have a review on that clothies wrap. Oh, I already had that one up, I think, by the time, or well, maybe, maybe it's coming in the future. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave links down below to anything that I have added, already put up uh, on the newborn playlist, just in case you guys are wondering. Okay, I feel like I'm like tripping all over my words now, so it's time to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there are any diapers in particular that you wanna see reviews on, hopefully one size. You know, if I didn't pick it up as a newborn, I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> so if there are any one size diapers you guys wanna see reviews of, let me know down in the comments below so I can pick those up and try them out and report back to you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you next time. Bye. And don't forget to go check out green-maternity.com because Melanie is the sweetest and she has all kinds of cloth diapering stuff and other motherhood and baby stuff too on her site. Like I said, the link is down below. So please check her out as well.